chloramphenicol rapid test kit for honey today we are going to do this uh, test using the manual method now first let's talk about uh, what we have in the box first of all of course we have the manual we have uh, reagents A, B and C 10 pieces of uh, solid phase extraction column two pieces of uh, connecting cap last but not least we have here 10 red microwells and 10 test strips first step sample preparation now we are going to weigh 4 grams of homogeneous honey sample we are now putting it into the 50 milliliter centrifuge tube Now we will put 4 milliliters of reagent A. Now we will mix the sample. It is important to note we can also vortex it for 1 minute at uh, 2000 to 3000 RPM. Now we will put it for one to two minutes in a standing position and wait. After having it in a standing position for one or two minutes, we will uh, take three milliliters of the supernatant and input it into the centrifuge tube. Of reagent B we will take 12 milliliters. Mix up and down for four or five times and keep in a standing position for about a minute. Now first thing we have connected the syringe with a piston in this way. Now we have prepared the extraction column. Take out the piston. Connect the extraction column. Make sure it is tight. And pour the whole liquid we have in the 15 milliliters centrifuge tube. So now, the whole liquid, we will carefully take down. Press do it slowly and make sure there are no bubbles and no liquid left in the piston. Remove the extraction column, take it out, connect once again the extraction column and do it. Let the whole liquids flow. All right, disconnect. All right, uh, so uh, we have here, we prepared the two milliliter centrifuge tube, this one. And we will take 400 microliters of reagent C. We'll take 400 microliters of reagent C and put it into the extraction column, right? Close with the cap. 
again take out the piston and let again press and let the whole liquid to flow through the extraction column don't leave anything close the centrifuge tube next step will be the testing itself so we'll take the number of the red micro wells and the test strips we need we will take 200 microliters of the liquid from the centrifuge tube of a two milliliter centrifuge tube and put it into the red micro well. Now, now we will mix it well. First incubation will be three minutes. Please, uh, in case the temperature is under 20 degrees, we recommend using our BioEasy incubator in order to have optimal and stable results. A test strip and incubate for another three minutes. All right, so the second incubation has finished. So now what we are going to do is to take out a test strip, remove the sample pad and compare it. So as we can see here, this is a negative result. This is a negative result in terms of our levels of detection. This step was observing by eye. Next step will be using a self reader. Using self reader, turn on self reader, then press go, go, tick the green button, single test detection, open the tray, place the test strip, press test. And now we have here result number 19 this result is a negative negative in terms of our levels of detection if you have any questions please let us know thank you very much